Hi guys, welcome to the Structurable Environment Network Toolkit um, tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to integrate Dent into Generic Shooter by Alar. Dent for the most part is actually just plug and play. You should be able to just do drag it into your project and it should just be able to work right off the bat. So what I'll show you is uh, for point weapons, as long as you're not utilizing the, um, the radial damage um, detection from Dent, there's pretty much no customization needed for most of your um, projectile weaponry, especially if they're just using point damage. So what we'll do is I'll just bring in some, some models. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I've got a barrel that explodes to show you that the AoE damage is going to work, fracturing works, and also I've got one, the big block up the top, which is going to spawn um, damaging projectiles that are replicated. This is just a work in progress at the moment. Should be available for the next patch though. So what I'm going to do just to show that this is actually causing damage, I'm just going to bring in a couple of the random little people here just so you've got stuff to blow up and you can see the damage actually being applied to these to these objects well let's move this one across here right. never have many, too many people right now two one okay so if we just yeah, one dead here. Head, head shot. And for the battle, you can see here, it's accepted the, the point damage. Now, I'm going to show you what happens if we don't integrate properly the projectile damage. If you have any um, destructible meshes with a support um, value, they won't destroy just from radial or impulse. Um, they require point damage to fracture and then the, the radial damage can then take effect. So I'll just show you this just now. If we just bring in one of the block the block out, building A, whap that in. Okay, we start the game. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's find the rocket launcher. Boom. As you can see, nothing's actually happening to the building. Right. But if I was to take the, the gun... Nope, 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 nope. And now... Go back to the rocket launcher, now we've had a fracture. Nope, nope. You'll see it actually damages the mesh. So we just need to change some values in the projectile. So what we need for this is first of all, then blueprints, character, BP projectile. Right. Now we also need to go to the do -do 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 generic shooter, I'll just minimize this just now. Generic Shooter, Blueprint, Logic, Weapons, and BP Projectile Base. Now inside here there's a function called Explode, which is really what we're, uh, what we're after. Now, it's the server aspect, the part that handles the projectile damage on server that we want to augment. Now what we'll do is we'll just stretch this out. Going to be some cut and paste going on here. So, what we do here is upon impact, we cast if it's a destructible mesh, we cast to the destructible mesh to, to set the flag if it's radial damage or not. 
um, it just allows us to control the sound effects and the the particles that will be displayed from the um, from the mesh. Now, these areas in blue on the projectile. First of all, the one titled "Cast the Destructible Mesh to Ensure Radial Impact Value is Set," and the next one, "Ensure Mesh Fractures with Radial Damage." So what we'll do, just copy these into project projectile base and you'll see a couple of these have now greyed out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add these in. You'll need to add a boolean DM radial effect. Okay and that's not replicated. Make it visible to all children. Now that's visible here. While we're here we'll just start connecting things together. The object is the hit actor and we cast to damage is greater to true. Now if casts failed, that's not a destructible mesh, we want to return to the standard way of applying damage. Okay, so this comes back down back into the grey box. Now if it is to be radial damage, if it is to be a uh, destructible mesh, we set the radial damage. Let's connect that up. Now and we just need to fill in the blanks here. So basically it's common sense stuff. Apart from, I forgot to add the strength. Okay, we need to add an integer called strength as well. We have radius and we have strength. Now, on the components here, config damage, we have damage radius. So we just swap that out for the radius that's been ta that's we've taken from the other blueprint. Let's copy this and radius. Okay, awesome stuff. Now we just have the strength to do. So what we'll do is we'll just call this damage add variable strength and make that float. Strength. Let's try this up in the damage. Okay, now Strengths now there. Perfect. So we're almost done. Apply radial damage. So what we want to do is we basically want to copy the information from down here because the damage type, the causer, ignore actors are already configured for this, this package. So we don't want to use the ones for the dent package on this alone. Right. And self goes to here. Make array goes to here. It's a wee bit sloppy, but you can always neaten it up. Instigator controller. Okay, dokie. Now, damage causer. Now, on the next one. Instigator controller, damage causer. We need to set this to do, 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 do. Let's check back to what I had it set to. Damage causer was damage causer. Yeah, obviously. Itself. damaged actor. Hit info we just link straight back to so it's hidden here somewhere. Local impact. So the hit info goes here. Damaged actor, what do I have? So hit actor is the one we want. Just, I'm just going to take that right across. Right. Hit 
back down. The hit from direction, just bring this down to, to here. Make a root, and I'll just add them all in. And we'll just take it up from here. So that's all then patched up. Apart from this one, doesn't work. Okay, okay. Excellent. Now, collision component is going to be mesh. So we need to bring that in there. Get mesh, collision component, boom. That should be us configured for the most part. One last thing to do. Now this is on the, the on the dent blueprints, destructible master and BP. So cast to projectile. This is no longer our base projectile. So what I want to do is cast to BP projectile base. Repoint this data here. Uh, the values are different. Damage, strength will be the same. Is it damage radius? Yeah, get damage radius. So, what we're going to do is move this down. Move this down. Okay, bring this here. Okay, okay, compile, and we should be fine. So we'll take a while to recompile because it does all of the child blueprints. Ah, I've not changed the uh, strength there. So, oh, there, I'm just going to beef up the power of the rocket launcher. So we see some decent fractures. Projectile, projectile rocket. Go here. Do, do, do. Damage. Probably the 500. Okay. Now, when we try this, you oh, should see a difference three, between the two, way the impacts one. take effect. So here we'll see nope, 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 one or two nope, little clouds. Nope. One of two little puffs as, as the the, pa the destructible mesh crashes. Yeah. Two one or two little puffs as the destructible mesh cracks. Now, what will happen here? We we'll see the rocket launcher is actually doing point damage now to this, so you're actually able to destroy chunks of the building using the uh, projectiles. Okay guys, so that's pretty much how to uh, include Dent uh, in its entirety into your into your project. If you have any uh, questions, just drop me an email at support at bitesumpie.com and I'll uh, get on to uh, solving any problems you've got. Okay, thanks guys. Cheers.